I had a back injury uh, when I was supervising the ski school at Alaska Resort in, in Alaska. And I was skiing some really heavy, deep, thick, wet snow and wrenched my back. It was actually some of the best turns I'd ever felt myself doing in those conditions. But the force was just too much and it ended up bulging a couple of discs in my low back. And unfortunately, all the physical therapy and everything that I did to try to help it get better did not help. In fact, it kind of kept getting worse. I started to look into alternative things. And one of the people that was working with me said, Sherry, you need to try Feldenkrais. Well, there was no one doing it up here at, time, at the time in Alaska, but someone was visiting and did a workshop. And so when I went and um, took the workshop with her, I did the, these very gentle Feldenkrais things, which was not in my uh, repertoire at all at that point in time. And uh, I didn't feel anything help, but I definitely trusted the person that referred me. And so I stuck with that person that was doing the Feldenkrais until I finally felt something happen. And what I felt was two of my thoracic vertebrae during one of the lessons twisting like this in a way I'd never ever felt them move before. And I thought, oh boy, if that can make that happen in my body and it felt so good, I just didn't want to stop doing it. I got to do more of this Feldenkrais. And since there was no one in Alaska doing it, I sought out a four year professional Feldenkrais training program and became a practitioner. And then everything changed from there. And I got all my my pain to go away, all my function back to where I could do all kinds of athletic things, all kinds of outdoor things again. And then I started integrating the two things of guiding and teaching athletics outdoors with my Feldenkrais work and develop Feldenkrais retreats and eco adventures so that I could combine the best of both worlds, at least in my opinion.